We are very grateful. Uh, I'm being chair of the Bone Council Legislative like Caucus. I'm here with the superintendent and the civil society. I show you all the following the issue with the local government act being implemented that were flagged and raised by our civil society organization in Bon County. We were here, we had a lengthy meeting, and the two senators were here, and to the order of my colleagues, we were all present, and it was a great day. We had a meeting, and also the superintendent with our able deputies and everybody was also present, and we are grateful that we could come up with a very good um solution to this problem and able to work it up in the interest of Bond County. So presently we have come up with a plan of a uh, provision implementation of the county council by Bond County and that gonna start like the next two weeks. We're gonna reach out to the chiefs that were not changed from Chastela or what time up to present and they're gonna come and they're gonna do election between themselves and then they come up with the three listing of chiefs that are gonna be on the council. And also we're gonna have the women informed in the 13 districts and they're gonna bring the Vera district women president and we're also gonna have an election among them and we're also gonna get, so get that listing of the one representation. Same goes with the disabled and also the civil society gonna give us the listing of the female and the male from their own end. So um, this has not been a fight for anyone to achieve anything. It's just been the law is the law. Two law cannot be on the book. And we pray that somebody will able to flag it us for us to be able to reach to the point. So it's important we let the press know where we are because you all have been following this issue in a good fit, in the interest of Bon County. And it's good that we have reached a very good conclusion with the agreement with all of my colleagues in this local government, with even the, the internal affairs minister is involved, and every one of us with the civil society, we have a good meeting of the mind. And from this day forward, this is how we're gonna to proceed to set up the county council sitting and that they will have a working tools and everybody will be represented on the council. So at this time, I will ask the superintendent to just give her own contribution on this matter and then we can move forward to the civil society and we can entertain questions. Good day to Bonn County citizens, both Morovia and within our county. I want to first of all say thank God for their prayers that have brought us together as a county. As you all know, members of the fourth estates that we have been running here and there on the local government act. Now today, from the court to the Ministry of Internal Affairs, the minister proper sat with us in a meeting along with the caucus, with the civil society, and then as we met as a county, we came now together to make sure that we'll be able to implement what the court interpret. From this meeting, I have been charged with the responsibility as a superintendent of the county to write the 13 districts to be able to send their women leader, the disabled community, the youth will do the same, and then we come as a county. I want to say thank you to the civil society. Keeping government feet to the fire, it doesn't mean that you, you don't like the government. But sometimes when you're in power, you don't see all of the things around you. It's better for somebody to keep your feet warm. And so to the civil society here, Mr. Aaron Saki and his team, I say thank you to you people for keeping us together. For the sake of Bond County, that our common denominator, to the chair, the caucus chair, Madam, I say thank you to you and members of the caucus for agreeing for us to come together as a county to be able to steer the affairs of our county. And to my deputies that work with me, my kinsmen, the district commissioners are going to play their part because we'll be sending them letter within a week time. And so within two weeks, we should be able to come up with all of the decisions that have been the, the responsibility given me as a superintendent so that we'll come back to the drawing board. I'm going to be working along with the civil society that have been running after. They were not in a bad fit. They was making effort because those who cannot speak, they speak for them. Those who cannot see, they see for them. 
and where we are today, I'm happy as a superintendent that my county now moving forward instead of all being in the darkness. So we want the press to know Bon County citizens in and out of Bon County to know that we have come back together as a county and we are working for the, for this common denominator, which is our county. All of the developmental process that we have put together, unfinished and ongoing, which we will make sure that it's completed and we are working as a team. So thank you, Madam Chair, and also to the civil society. I say thank you for keeping our feet to the fire. Members of the Fourth Estate will be happy that it's going far and near. Everybody will know where Bon County stands. Thank you so much. So we will now turn to the civil society and then we'll also make a comment in the Okay, uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Uh, we come from the, the background of the National Civil Society Council of Liberal Bond Chapter uh, in a good fit. Um, I use the time in a special way to appreciate my colleagues uh, for their strong support to the process. Um, we are then looking like uh, a Google man that I set up there, but uh, the guy's son, his son, everybody had an area of work. So our work is to speak for people who do not have to see another year to year, another for to work. So at this point, we were not doing it because we have personal interest into the development that is why we want to be there. But every time you develop policy or law, that law have a good intent. So the intent of the law is to develop Liberia not only limited to Bon County. So I was stand to take the uh, the authority. Uh, to the Supreme Court was not meant that we don't love them, uh, you know. No, we love them, but if you are make a law and that law is very much good for development, indeed, we need to work with the law. So it was on that background that we took the, the, the matter of authority, though we communicated, but God knows the reason why where we are today. So in a special way, Cody, thank you for your support in the process. There's not one candidate only, but a cross court the whole of 15 counties of rural Liberia. Uh, we stand, uh, we are concluded in a good faith based on the Supreme Court uh, recommendation. Uh, and we came, we were speaking as citizens of one county, not an you know, individual. So at the level in which we are reached, and this is a very good breaking news for one county. Because among the 15 counties of Liberia, one county took the, the matter of authority to, to do this. So it's a very good thing. We are set up one county law in, instead of good history. You can remember the same law being launched in one county at uh, Sarah District. So it, the same one county again that are taking the law to implement the law. So it's a very good. We also use the time to appreciate our leaders. Though to take the power from another level to another level is very tough. But at least we made the mark. So as I was listening over to my colleagues also to speak on, we want you as a press to speak what we have spoken here while let our locals to because they've been supporting us so that they can be in the full information of what we have concluded here today. Even our brothers and sisters who are overseas, uh, they know they listen to all at Bon County so that they can know in exactly what we are doing in this county. I'm J. Aram Saki Pella, the current chairperson of the National Civil Authority Council of Liberal Bond Chapter. Thank you very much. Okay, on this note, we want to say thank you to the county authority, especially the corporate chair who have been very far sighted. We say Bon County have won. Because uh, the civil society gave a petition to the court. We have agreed law is reasoning. Law is just reasoning. And the Supreme Court asked us to come back to reason. We have agreed to establish the council fund. Just what you heard from the superintendent. The council will be established through that money. To which time shall be mandated from the different discussion we had here to proceed to be able to get the, the nominee from all of these different groups so that the council could, uh, can now be constituted to proceed. Also, what I want to say, the administrative arm will start with work, meaning that the, the, the processes from the superintendent office, they have to work very hard to have that development plan from the county, from the district town level, and they have to go and do a lot of work so that when the council is established, that they will have a breaking document such as the, um, the development plan to be approved, the budget to be approved. We want to say thank you to the, uh, the leadership. In this meeting was fruitful because the senators were here, the two senators were here, uh, our caucus chairpersons, and I think the discussion was fruitful. 
Bourne County have finally won. That's what I want to say. Bourne County have won because we are now on our way to get the council established and the local governor have been ruled up in the county. I want to say thank you to all of you who have been there, who have amplified the message at different levels. And we hope the message that leaving from here is Bourne County have won and we're on our way to implement the local governor by establishing council. Thank you so much. Okay, back to please, Chairperson. So thank you to everybody. I think you have heard uh, all of our actors in this issue. This is what I'm saying. So let me tell you, the council is going to be a nine-day council. So you're going to have three persons coming from the chiefs. You're going to have two persons from the civil society, a male and a female. And you're going to have one person from the disabled, one person from the women, and two persons from the youth. And then this is it. The youth organization we're going to be looking at is the Bond County Youth Organization. It's not any other one, but Bond County Youth Talkers. And then the next thing we're going to add, all of the chiefs that was not appointed, but was being in power up to present when that change. They are the one we're gonna bring and they're gonna do an election among themselves and they're gonna make sure and elect the person they want and then also report to God. They seen all of the 13 district, the women here from there are gonna come and they're gonna have an election among themselves. The same goes for the disabled. All of the 13 district disabled president gonna come and they're gonna have an election in order you're going to be a part of it and you're going to select a person to be on the council so going forward we're going to go the superintendent going to go we're going to have a district city every district will have their stuff and they will come up with it and it will be documented by the face call and the council will sit on it and they will they suggest to us this is it and it will be selected as the district request and it will be put into the perspective and we all going to work along with it to make sure it's done so today is a great day for bon county i can tell you bon county has won Nobody was there for the personal aggrandizement. People were there to make sure that when you make law, it should be implemented. And it's not something to put in 513 and put it there forever. All we can say, this is bon County. We disagree, but we do not disbound. So I can tell you, as per the audit, we personally have a communication that have been sent to the superintendent and that to bring all of those people. But in doing that, LACC also have written us they have started to, to investigate all of the contractors. So they're going to sooner or later come to the, they have a fee visit to come to Bone County to check those projects and also make sure to come up with the funding on those contractors. We also did a communication, I did a communication to plenary when and it's good that we return it on Monday. Um, PAC supposed to come up with a version of their own to the, of the audit. And then they will suggest it to us those local government officials that also need to be uh, investigated. So we're not sitting surprised. It. We are very concerned about Bond County issue. Like the superintendent record said, this thing want to see projects being dedicated. This thing want to see Bond County people see the use and they, and they enjoy their money. Because the money we receive for social development funding is for Bond County and the citizens should be able to use it. I can just say to you, member of the press, everybody have been helpful. Bond County citizens in the diaspora and even in in in, in Bon County have been very helpful and they all been concerned about the issue. Thank God we can reach to their point. All the representatives been here today. We've been sitting here brainstorming and seeing how best we can make sure people from the superintendent and her team, they've been here, they say what society, they've been here all morning. And even you people, the press that were not in the meeting, you all will stay around waiting to see that your people will agree for Bon County to win. And I said today is a day Bon County have won. Let us all follow the process. Let us all not amplify anything. Let us all just agree that peace ring and follow the process and make sure that we can do the right thing for Bon County to be successful. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Okay. Yes, my, my name is Melvin Sarko. I report for Radio Banga and across Africa. The issue about the establishment of this council has been a problem pushed by the civil society. Now that the both parties have agreed, what assurance can you give to the people of Bon County in terms of transparency? Because political interference may be something that maybe might be another thing that will come out. The first thing is, when the civil society raised the thing, if it was being political interference, we could just sit and say, okay, let's do what we want to do. 
But the issue now you're going to have a nine main council, people from diverse background. And I saw the civil society were not pushing the thing together and say, in trap. Uh, into anything, they were making sure that they can see things done properly. So I can tell you, we all gonna work together in the interest of Bon County. Madam Nancy's little couple chair, uh, my name is Papa Maurice from the Liberal Broadcasting System. Uh, you just named how the selection process will be done. Are you sure this is the right procedure? Because these civil society people are not the only people who can go to court. Ordinary citizens too can be able to go to court and stop you if you do not proceed the right way. Are you sure the selection process you are talking about is the right way? Because I'm afraid somebody might wake up and say, this is not the right procedure. We ourselves going to court and they might stop you from doing what you intended to do, what you have agreed with these civil society officials to do. For what we see on the book and for what the law intends and then it is, and this is the best way that we follow. If it wasn't the best way, we would just say, Superintendent, go is ahead. it the best way or the, or the legal way? It is a legal way. Because now, so we would just say, Superintendent, go and take one and to be chief and bring them to be on the clinic. But no, we want the chiefs that were never appointed, they are coming now to make, to make sure and do an election among themselves for them to come up with a three person to have the representation. So this is the legal way because we want it to be done properly because we don't want to be turning in cycles. Okay. Any more question? Yes. Okay. My name is Hensin Bileka Bolo Group Party In addition to the question that was asked, are you doing this uh, process because you feel that you have been entangled or engulfed by Project being stalled back, that there is no development going to grow this way. This is why you are trying to hold the process. And when do we expect the election to take place? The duration of the election, months or years? Okay, so um, the election aspect, let me first of all say this. We are doing it because we are concerned that Bon County needs to have development. Even the civil society did it because this was a concern. They want to see projects being dedicated. They want to see projects be accounted for. They don't just want to see a appropriation made and checks being distributed. They can't see anything, dividends for the bone county people. So everyone else are concerned about development. Then we are also concerned about accountability and everything be done properly. And that is what we're concerned about. And this is that the superintendent have two weeks. The county is big. She's going to start like today. And once she's done with it and get out of the vetting process and come out in the two weeks, then the next time we will let you know when we're going to be the invention. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Drapoli, now that your plot has been listened to by the caucus, if I'd, in the first place, how do you feel right now? What I would think justice has been served. I told you in my expose that uh, law is reason. We went to court and they asked us to come to establish the council. And now the process of establishing the council have just gotten on the way. So I think I said to you before, yes, one county have won because justice has been served. These are all of these, the outcome of this will be communicated to the justice in the chambers. Somebody asked a question whether this is the right way. The law provides that. Provisional in the absence of the election for uh, chiefs, the law provides that you might have provisional uh, um, um, appointment. So the people from the provisional area will come together and select their people. So it is provided by the local government act. If you read section 2.12x, it provides for that. So we're not proceeding wrongly. All we want that the Nairman Council should be um, and put into place through a proper way. So all of the institutions we're talking about are institutions that are prescribed by the law. Youth, two representatives. 
Women, one representative. Disabled, one representative. How they will select the law, they now say, they say they will nominate. Right? So these people are coming together and they agreed on their nominee. Yes. And the process of that nominee, we have agreed, look, let the people come together and be democratic because for popular participation. Mm -hmm. So we think we are in line of the law. So we, we want to say to the people of Bon County, Bon County have won. Thank God to our leadership that we were able to see with all the reason. Lord, it will with bargaining. We were able to solve the problem to this meeting. The excellent thing is for the council to be established to rule up the development process. Someone may argue it is one component of the debate. Uh, what is your stand on this issue of audit in the county? Because these have been one of the problems in the county. Well, all have been conducted. All have been conducted and the funding have been released. It's now with the executive branch of government to see that the audit being implemented. And it comes through the national legislature. She said to you that the public account committee is dealing with that. Are you That's also pushing to for this issue to everything? Uh, those who are caught in the web can be held accountable. We have said that with all numbers. We have said that with all numbers. So the law, the way the frame of the law, the intent of the law to put the auditing commission on the executive, uh, the, the legislative branch of government. So they have a um, uh, 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 department there that was reviewed and uh, all of the public, the public account committee reviewed and take a human error and then recommend to the executive branch. She has said to you that they are on that process. We cannot turn it. We're waiting to see what will come up from there. Right? So we stand and we, we think that the government will do more so that the public account committee can fast track that and come up with a findings to the, to the uh, executive branch. Of the more people are concerned about uh, political interferences, especially for the district city. Uh, how you intend hindering that? No, there's the, the issue of the district. No, they say the law provides that the uh, the, the Ministry of Internal Affairs through the county officials eh, will go out there and create what we call development plan. That's why the the the, the caucus chair were telling you they are going to, to develop a development plan. It takes time. You got to bring the people together. You got to bring the district together to say what they, 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 they agree on, and that agreement. And it becomes a development plan. It will be caused by a budget that our budget will bring down to the council to debate. So if you if heard develop, district city in its turn, it means that they are going to have a development plan meeting. You know, different districts and select that different project. Then they bring it to the council. When the council is constituted now, then they debate it. That's, that's, that's what you are referring to. So the people will participate in that development project because now development superintendent or even lacking a new law, county development officer must go and work now. To the different town, different community, let people select what they want so you can bring it to the council. That's what the law provides. And I think that we're on our way there. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.